Hi everyone, so today I've just come to share with you a journal that I've completed. This journal is uh, made using Artie Maisie's thank you kit that she um, kindly gave us, oh, I think it was last week. And if you want to get hold of that, then you have to be on Artie Maisie's uh, Facebook group, I think. And that is called Artie Maze and Friends. And there you get the link. You get the link to so it's just a bit of noise outside uh, you get the link to get the kit um, I've also used uh, vintage ladies there's kind of floral designs through this as well um, there is a lot of kind of vintage ladies in this book and um, the book measures eight and a quarter by four uh, five and a quarter has one signature 60 pages and it is rather chunky so I've used this cardstock as the cover and it's been sewn onto coffee dyed cardstock and some of the things that are in here I've um, done videos on and you will find that in my playlist called Let's Make. So if you want to check that out, I'll try and remember and link that playlist below. It might already be on there, I'm not 100% sure. So I've made a topper for the front cover and it's just got cardstock, it's got some Artie Maze paper there. There's image here from Artie Maze and I've put a little butterfly, some cheesecloth, put some stickles here. We have some bling, we've got some sari silk, uh, some little dainty trim here and here. We have eyelets and string as a closure and this will be listed on my shop if you're interested that will be listed below as well i hope everyone is keeping well and keeping busy <laughs> right so my last um let's make uh video was these these are pockets I haven't put anything in in behind them because this is just really chunky as it is so it's a pocket notebook or a notebook pocket um, that actually flips up so you could do a little bit of journaling on there as well and then you've got your pages here and like I said it's a pocket so you can tuck something in behind there like another tag um, some Artie Maze paper there the word document and I used my for memo for that um, butterfly from Artie Maze and then I just stamped treasure these memories so we have a, a, a lace pocket here. The lace has just been put onto the leftover cardstock from this. And so it's a nice sturdy pocket. And then in here we have some ephemera from uh, the old design shop. <clears throat> and that's the um, the thank you kit from Artinez there. And so I love, I love that paper, it's so pretty. Uh, here I've made like kind of full cabinet cards um, instead of actually because I didn't have uh, the right size I've done them rather the wrong way basically um, I've just added the image on top of cardstock rather than cutting the shape and putting the photos behind I will do that next time just a little bit of stamping on there so you can journal on the backs of them and that was an idea from uh, Girl on the Ridge who is Laurie <clears throat> here we have a flip a Rita Donnelly flip you get these little rosies. I think these are a freebie from Artie Maze as well. Um, so I've used them. <clears throat> uh, the tag is from the kit. And that is from Tsunami Rose. Here again the image is from Artie Maze. And that's just a flip, flip out like notebook thingy. Oops. Happened there. Got all caught up. Um... <clears throat> Another little kind of full cabinet card there. Some edge punching, another little full cabinet card. And then the envelope, which is on the other side, has just got some paper inside there. It's just doubled over. And this envelope is actually from Jane Austen, one of Jane Austen kits that um, Artie Mays has. And that's just paper clipped on there. And she tucks in there. <clears throat> and that's obviously the other side of the envelope. This is from the old design shop. We have some crocheted trim, some lined paper. This is from the thank you kit. Here I've just made a little flip out so you can journal on there. And it's a tuck. And we just have two pieces of ephemera there. This is from, actually they're both from Tsunami Rose. From the thank you kit. Here I've just made um, a Terry Woods inspired pocket. Let me just 
seen me do these tons of times. Still a little bit wet there from the glue because I've just literally finished this. I'm feeling a bit rubbish today because of allergies. The pollen count, the tree pollen is really high today and it's really annoying me. <laughs> um, so I've been actually taking longer to do stuff the last few days because I've just not felt like it. Um, postcard from Tsunami Rose. And some more of these four cabinet cards and another one here. She pops in there. We've got a ticket here. I've just backed that onto some mind paper. And that tucks in there. A little um, embellishment there. Some more uh, edge punching. <clears throat> From some of the papers I just made some of these full envelopes and inside you've got a trifold which you can do additional journaling on and these little images of little birds and I've just used that because that stops it from flapping around. Uh, this here is um, a pocket booklet, I've got a tutorial on that as well, it's ever so easy. Um, so we've got the flip up there, we've got the, the pages and then on the back you have a pocket and I've done some stenciling, we've got a tag here that pops in there and then another kind of full cabinet card <clears throat> and the word memories again that is from Artie May so that is just hooked on there like that. <clears throat> And some more lined paper, some more crochet to trim, more pages from the kit. Another envelope, I showed you how to do that using different things to create um, backgrounds. I was actually uh, using uh, bubble wrap and my embossing folders to make them. So there's a, a little let's make on that as well in my playlist. Another lacy pocket. Here we just have another kind of full cabinet card and two pieces of ephemera and there we go so as much as there is a lot in here there's also a lot of journaling room I've just got another trifold in there if I can get that out there we go nice coffee markings on that and again I just made the envelope using one of the pages from the thank you kit from Artie Mace so that just paper clips on and another pocket little embellishment there this is a double pocket flip out again this is an idea from Terry Woods you can see the glue is still wet there And <clears throat> inside there we have some ephemera and this is one of my kits that I have um, as a digital kit. It's all vintage ephemera. I think this is from the 15 piece kit. So I used that and that is available in my shop. Here I just made a little tablet, a little booklet. Um, Put some paper on there and then some crochet to trim, a little bit of stamping. We have another postcard there from Tsunami Rose and another little kind of full cabinet card. And there we go. Here I've just made a double pocket. This is actually from, now let me check, I did keep this up. Oh no, she gone. I think it's Collective Chickadee who is um eve spade uh she, if you go on to her youtube channel you will then get the link to go and um get some lovely free downloads so thank you for that eve <clears throat> and some crochet trim another postcard it's just got some paper like the other one another full cabinet card and another Peter Donnelly flip with a little rose on there. We have some more ephemera. Do lots of journaling on that. 
another tag from the thank you kit another full cabinet card ticket from Artie Mays and another little um, full cabinet card and then on the back I added um, another one of these which is little tablet and it's a pocket at the back for you to put something in and that's exactly like that one and I have a tutorial so that's the journal as you can see it's quite chunky um, I love the colours how everything went well with um, this journal and don't forget you know see the kits that you know you have you know mix and match them and you can you know come up with some beautiful journals um, you don't have to use just only the kits um, you know the one kit in the journal mix and match them a little bit and um, get adventurous so like I said um, check out my playlist let's make um, this will be listed in my shop I uh, hope everyone's doing well and I will be back later on tonight with my live at 8.30 p.m. That's UK time. Um, and what am I doing? What am I doing on that? The trifold file file folder journal. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. So I um, hope you can join me later on tonight for that. And uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.